Hello everybody, welcome back, I am the Insider and this is A Day at the Zoo, its second episode. And as I have planned to do, visit multiple uh, beautiful parks created by other community members of Planet Zoo itself. Today, for the second episode, I'm visiting my own creation. And you may wonder, why am I doing that? Well, the case is quite simple, or at least it's for me. So this park, Royal Park, as you can see over here, uh, it's a build I made for the Zoo Little Challenge, which was a community um, challenge slash competition made by Ravenscar Gaming on his Discord server. And uh, so I made this Zoo Little called Royal Park Zoo, and um, I haven't done anything with it. I haven't shown anything on my social media. I haven't done anything on YouTube with it. I just made the park. And that's why we're going to visit it and take a look at this small and simple zoo. Because it is simple. My intention was very simple. And we're going to showcase a little bit of the zoo itself. And we start over here, which is the entrance area. And this is towards the subway, because this is on an island, and you can reach it only by subway, which is going underwater and have a station over here. So let's just, let's just check it out, guys. So as many people uh, try to find out what they can do for the Zoo Little Challenge, uh, the Zoo Little Challenge I choose was the theme for a royal park, like just a beautiful city park, like uh, the park, uh, Central Park in New York. Uh, I've been there a couple of years ago. Very awesome to watch the uh, the amount of nature still in this concrete jungle uh, which is called New York. And uh, so it's I still love it. So that's kind of the get-go I was going for. This is a little bit open. I have not done anything over here. But this is the entrance guys. So as we walk through it um, the park itself is like a modern slash um, what was the name again of it I've I've written it down so many times today uh, oh classic oh man come on so it's a classic slash modern park and uh, for the designs as well as I tried to do it with the buildings over here so this is the plaza which is the first area the guests arrive obviously the park has been closed for now uh, you saw some uh, people maybe walk by, uh, or maybe you can still see some of them walk in the park, but I closed it. Because there are way too many people for this small, small park. So, this is the building uh, style I was going for. It's like the bricks, and we have some of the uh, plaster walls over here with the fries. Uh, we have toilets. And we have a place where people can get their cash, excuse me, walking here, excuse me, excuse me, get back to work, come on. And so these are the guests, uh, I mean the employee facilities over here, which we have a small resting area for them, which has a nice view, well maybe not that nice because there's a huge tree in front of it, but you can look into the enclosure, the habitat, and um, I wanted to do something that was unique. I haven't seen many things of these type of parks around so far. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I haven't looked in the right place. But um, So it's like a large park where most of the animals are roaming free. And the guests can interact with them, you can pet them. And uh, it's just something unique. So we have this side, it's a bigger version of the building. All these buildings have been placed onto the workshop as well. So if you like the style, want to check them out yourself, you can get them on the workshop. So while I'm talking, I'm I'm looking in the corner of my eyes and watching my cat. Because my cat is like a little bit of a, a nuisance, a troublemaker these days. She's trying to damage the plants a lot. And uh, she's trying it again. She knows I'm looking at her, but she's slowly moving her palm towards the plants. I've sprayed her many times today, like try to get rid of it, make sure she stops doing that. But oh well. Well, we have uh, some of the buildings here. We have the keeper hut, 
They're preparing some food here. How you doing, man? Doing your job? Yes. Well, you're doing great, man. It's a little bit dark over here. Because it's not night, of course. And also you have the overlook. It's It really is dark. I'm not sure if it's just my screen or in-game, but... Over here they have uh, an area which you can look over. And uh, we go quickly out. This is the veterinarian and we have the... Uh, Quarantine, I think. I'm not sure if it's quarantine. And we have an exhibit. So the exhibit is part of the build. You're going to watch it on the other side. You can already see what's in there. That's the only exhibit animal having water there is the uh, terrapine, uh, the diamondback terrapine. So, yeah, that was kind of the idea to have this large park and uh, have a lot of animals that are able to walk among guests and also aren't stressed out by guests because a lot of animals can be walking with guests and stuff but have more trouble uh, with being stressed all the time and they need cover, they need shelter and it changes the whole vibe of the park so that's why I choose the animals that don't have that So my cat is still trying, I'm looking at it. It's always the thing, by the way. She's trying to uh, do the naughty thing when I'm recording or when I'm chatting with people online and stuff. Every time when I use my voice, she starts to do these things. But this is a custom-made fountain. As you can see, I used one of these items, which is normally an enrichment item for like elephants, flamingos, and I placed statues among it. I was trying to make sure that the hippo was eating the bar. I really like how it turned out and uh, it's also found on the workshop now. And we have some places to sit over here. So I'm not as excited to show things because, well I'm excited to show you guys but I'm not as excited reacting to what I have created myself, you know? And uh, if I see something else with other people make, it's differently. They always walk through this, by the way. It's so weird they just ignore the hitboxes of these things. Which is weird. But uh, This is the entrance for the, uh, the keepers. And here we have the entrance into the Royal Park's main section. And we have, of course, here an entrance as well. Information center. So, let's take a look. Right on time. Thank you. So, these are the animals we can find in the park. We have llamas, we have peafowls, we have flamingos, and we have a special, more exotic animal, which is the giant anteater. <clears throat> and these are the animals that are not stressed out, because when I started Sokasu, you have those uh, like pronghorn antelopes. They can have guests into their habitat, but they are stressing out so much if there are too many people. That's kind of a problem. Ah. <clears throat> the, I'm always trying to stay hydrated when doing recordings, and sometimes I need to drink more often than uh, planned. So, here we are guys. This is the park, as you can see. We have uh, some peafowls over here. These are the white albino peafowls. And we have, uh, I can hear another flamingo. Oh, here's one, hello. Hello, buddy. So we have also flamingos and they have a large area over here. We're gonna walk by that area later. So they can walk everywhere and uh, we're going to stroll the path to the first area as well. And as you can see, we have feeders here. Uh, we have llamas in the background. We have the white pea files. And insider, how did you get all those white pea files? You may ask. Well, I'm not a no, not not say a big fan, but uh, uh, I'm not a fan of using a lot of mods, and I don't want to replace stuff because I like the base game. I try to stay uh, with the base game, but. Someone on Discord told me about the uh, the mod that makes sure you have more 
available albinos or specific animals like the black jaguar or even specific exhibit animals i never knew there were exhibit animals with different colors in it that's that's amazing to learn after using the the mods and uh so that's why we have several white p files we also have normal ones by the way if you can zoom in a bit maybe no llamas white p files and we have the ant eaters here we have one walking over there <coughs> So uh, we move to this first section, and uh, we have this. It's it's a little bit of the light. Let's use the flashlight. So we have the resting place, which is over there, and that's going to the flamingo pool. And this is an item I made, which is a multi-purpose signpost, which also has a scratching pole attached to it, because it reminded me of of having a cat and having a. Uh, multiple scratching areas for the cat which are also different purposes like uh, a hiding hole or a platform where they can sit on but they can scratch on the old outside so this is for the ant eaters and uh, so I had some pictures I made some screenshots where they're using it and maybe we see one using it it's very cool and unique to see it so the first area what we're going to do I have to load higher up my oh it's definitely darker for my own screen so here we go not sure if the things uh, are viewable for you guys maybe maybe not i will see it in the end indeed so um we have the first area which is uh, i made these signs with one which is kind of like the path you can path you can follow and we have the tortoises here so I separated the tortoises for the others because it takes a long time for a tortoise or uh, especially the Galapagos to start somewhere and then they have to eat and they have to come over here and it takes so long because they are slow. So here we are in a small area where people can just sit and relax and we have the uh, Galapagos uh, turtle and the Alabra. What's his name again? I, I I really am bad with names for some animals. What was it again? Yeah, Al Aldabra, giant tortoise. Here we go. So, and we have some of them here, as you can see. A small ponds, a feeding place with a shade. It's just simple, just shading for them. And uh, we have some, sp some water sprays. And, uh, oh, and just notice I also have this one over here, I forgot that one. So I have multiple of these, multiple different versions of it. And uh, so these are the water fountains for the animals. And I made this custom tree, uses bushes on top of it, as you can see. And uh, I placed it on the workshop, but I forgot about this one. Well, not really a problem. So as you can see, the tortoises can all walk around here over the pathway and uh, Let's see, there's a Galapagos. Let's check one out. This is a Galapagos one. What is it? Is it? Yeah, it's a Galapagos one. Okay. Here we go. So we have another one. Uh, so this is also the resting place for them. Uh, we have to take a look where it is. Excuse me, fellas. Here it is. But this is also an albino. Well, maybe it's not really albino. I'm not sure if it's an albino or... A Lewis stick, what do you call those things? Oh, it is an albino, yellow, white domed shell. Uh, it's the male, so it jumps a little bit out compared to the females over here. Uh, not all animals have uh, a specific albino version. Like Galapagos have, so far, not showed up once. So uh, this was an idea I had for uh, on the other side of the park, which was exhibits. And uh, the exhibits over here is the turtle, the terrapine. As you can see, we have small turtles over here. So it's an exhibit inside an enclosure. And we can just walk in. <laughs> we can just walk in. So uh, that's kind of uh, an idea I had. The only thing is, is that you have to be... Um... Oh, it's just cleaning. Okay, so this is funny. I just wanted to explain this. So. When I place this, they said 
they couldn't reach the exhibit. You just notice that he cleaned the exhibit, so he can uh, reach it. But that's why we have this area over here, so they can definitely come around and clean or feed the animals. So it's kind of weird that it never happened, and then suddenly they just woke up in the front side of it. Weird. So yeah, the the zoo itself it had a number of. Uh, Habitat animals and exhibit animals, which was the rules for making zoo littles and for the competition. And there are amazing parks made by the uh, surfer members. And uh, I, I, n I never really wanted to do anything because you can win a prize. And I'm a moderator in the Raven Scars Discord channel, and I was not really up for doing my best to win a prize. I, I I don't really care about a prize, just this is for fun and trying new things out. So see the llamas over there? Just crossing. We have a lot of llamas, a lot of p-files, a lot of flamingos, because there's just uh, five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, there are six habitat animals, including the two tortoises. And I don't think it was like five exhibit animals? So out of my head, not sure. So we have these fountains over here. These are drinking fountains for our guests. Just a combination of two items, that's all. I love the background, by the way, for this. Uh, this safe park is uh, part of the uh, career mode. And Raven Scar cleaned it all up for us to, to took it a, take it away from the workshop and just edit it while it already was empty and it's not a bad choice if you want to use small zoos because it's a very small space it's perfect to use here so we have some flamingos this is not really the flamingo pool but okay so then we have this pad over here and uh, we're gonna get a little bit closer also have these hoses over here as you can see we go a little faster because yeah we need to spray the plants right we need to water the plants white pea files are beautiful so the white pea files are a lot more common in the animal kingdom than other albinos and you also have the white tigers of course but I realized that uh, White tigers are not really albino, they are lu luc lucentic, lucetic. Correct me if I'm saying it wrong, by the way. <laughs> so we have, uh, this is a resting area over here. And this is maybe interesting, let's see what he's going to do. One of the ant eaters over here. Oh, he's, are you gonna sniff here? Are you gonna scratch, my friend? Are you gonna scratchy, scratchy? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. They're just hanging it. This is so cute to see. They're not even scratching. They're just hanging on it. And that's kind of the scratchy. <laughs> so, let's check the anteater over here. Because I think this is a normal one. Yeah, this is a normal one. As you can see, the normal one is just dark brown, blackish, white stripes, brown face. And um, we have another ant eater over here and it's something I never realized until I uh, used this mod and uh, we're gonna check out if we come across an ant eater we'll go check out so the path here continues let's just drop into this part because we have another feeding or a water drinking place over here as you can see there's a little bit more foliage and uh, with the stone trees from the aquatic pack and then some bushes just on top of it and then we have these shaders and the shaders are an item I got from the uh, the workshop itself and um, so the name are uh, the names of the workshop items I've used there are a couple of them which are the shaders over here as well as the exhibit shells these I had no clue what to do with those so far because I wanted to do this quickly, of course. 
and there is also the sign with all the animal education boards over there uh, those three items are from the workshop and the uh, their creators and the credit for them is in the description below if you want to look them up because I can can't really remember any of the names I've written down and my phone is on the charger <laughs> it's it's hard to remember I, I'm bad at remembering names it's really one of the the things I'm really bad in so if we continue we have this part over here where we have uh, an ant eater let's check if that's the ant eater we're looking for yes this is the ant eater we're looking for as you can see let's just pause for a second uh, as you can see this is a way lighter and still has the white stripes but the face is also more white compared to the other uh, and it just, if we look at the genetics it has the erythristic genes so this is like albinos or uh, uh, any of the other specific color genes and uh, I called it differently I, I, I'm not saying it <laughs> online over here but um, so they had red brown hairs and most animals having erythristic genes have a red or pinkish color in their feathers in their shells in their beaks in their fur there are frogs there are fishes even dolphins have been seen with it and uh, foxes and even some big cats have these and uh, one of them is the anteater so that's very cool that they have this specific genes this gene set I really love that they have different versions in the game. I'm still missing some animals. Like the golden tiger would be great to see here. So we have a forage platform for the anteaters as well as the pea files over here. And uh, you can see that all the uh, flamingos, they're flocking this way. They're flocking this way. They're like gallimimus. No, the Gallimimus are more like flamingos, uh, so to speak, but... <laughs> um, we have an anteater coming this way as well. I don't know what the anteater is going to do. That's just relaxing there. Uh, so this is also the uh, termite hills for the anteaters where they can eat. And... Uh, yeah, one of them is going this way. If they run mostly of the time, they are up to something. I think they're gonna eat here. I never saw them eat from the end eater hill. Or the uh you can see the difference over here. This is one is way lighter than the basic one. This is so cool. This is the first time I'm watching this. This is so cool. Okay, we have to screenshot this. There we go. Quickly screenshot. And we have the P files going to eat. It's so great that they all run up to this location because food's ready. We're gonna scratch one over here and he's still eating. Yeah, I really love this place. It 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 turned out better than I intended to do. <laughs> So we have a, a pedophile statue over here and then we have number three which is the exhibit area including uh, oh, ma mainly insects I call it the insect corner so we have different kind of insects we have the giant cockroach I'm very bad at looking and finding them here we are we have two of them here and also the back sides over here are open and only connected to the uh, surface road where the employees work. It's crowding, uh, crowdy over here with the end eaters. Awesome. So you never see them doing some stuff, and then suddenly they all do it. <laughs> uh, then we have the uh, forest scorpions, and let's try to find one. Okay, I, I have a way to cheat me out of that. But this is a thing I always do. Maybe I have 
talked about this in the recent videos. But I always try to find a specific animal before I move to the next exhibit. Here we are, there's one, as you can see over there. There is one. So I always try to find at least one or two of them in real life. And they are easier to find in real life than in here. Oh, here. And someone's cleaning over there. They're also cleaning, yeah. Maybe they're going to clean this side as well. She's walking fast, so. Isn't it amazing that you can just walk here and people just hover up here to clean the stuff and Andy just walk by? I'm not sure why they are. Oh, because this is higher. Yeah, this is the workshop item I I used, but I think this is higher than intended. Well, at least we saw one scorpion. Let's just move to the... Uh, also, these scorpions can get up higher, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. And then we have uh, spiders. We have the... Uh, I think this is the knee one. The Brazilian Salmon Pink Tarantula. That's it. So we have tarantulas over here. See if we can find one. There are a couple in here. Not sure if they climb as well. This one, the next one, one spider species that I have seen hugging the glass and it, I was looking around and it scared me because I don't like spiders. Well, I, I think they're very cool, but I don't... They give me the creeps, you know? Because they are fast and, and relaxed and stuff. And bleh. So they're all very busy cleaning the area over here. So let's see if we can find one of the spiders over here. So this is the... Um, I'm, I really am not sure which one are these. Oh, these are the Brazilian wandering spiders. Okay. I haven't used many exhibits, to be honest. Uh, I only used the tree frog, the terrapine, and then I made them. Or I choose these for this build. Oh, here's one. Creepy little one. Ugh. Nothing against the glass, no. So these are the spiders. They're way smaller than you think they are. And that's the great thing about Plant Suit. There's another one on the... Oh, over here. Okay, they're, they're kind of cool behind glass. That's all. <laughs> so we have a small uh, sitting area with a tree over here. Uh, we have a little bit of water you can drink from. And then we have the... Oh, I don't know the English name from it again. What was it again? Centipedes. Here we go. Yeah, we call them uh, like thousand pot, but that's literally a thousand feet, thousand legs. So it's not something you can say in English without thinking it's a weird name. Let's check out where they are. I know these are also able to. Let's just go in here. This is not something you can do when you're visiting a zoo, but let's just, just do it for now. Huh. Huh. And this is how I got spooked by one of the spiders suddenly on a leaf. <laughs> and I turned and it was just here on the branch, just close up. I'm not sure where they are. I do have them, right? There are only two of them. Oh my god, there's one over there. That's so high. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh, we just le left the... 
Oh well. Oh, the other one is oh, just over here. Oh, it's inside. Oh, it's on. Wow. Okay, so that's why. Um, good sir, come over here, please. Thank you so much for your help. Let's quickly go. Blup. Like nothing happened. <laughs> uh, next one, we have the leaf insects, which are even harder to spot in this game than the centipede. Oh, here we are. That's one. This is just lucky finding one of them. So we have a couple of them over here. And we have the last one, which is the Titan Beetle. Here's one. Titan Beetle is over there. That's the last of the exhibit animals. So this is a nice, beautiful corner I made. I'm very proud of the layout of the park so far, so yeah. I also wanted to do like an ice cream house over here, but that's not working. So I'm able to do this with the exhibits, but the um, the shops and stuff are not able to be placed inside of Habitat. This is kind of strange, because that makes like, you have to do something outside of an exhibit. And I wish we can do it in the future. It's uh, Maybe it's something for Frontier to do, think about. Okay. Guys, we're do, still doing one take. It's amazing. <laughs> so now we have the flamingo pool. As you can see, we have one of the ant eaters here. We have this custom um, monument with flamingo statues on top of it. So the llamas and the ant eaters take a dip regularly here regularly here and the flamingos of course also just skip the area move to the other side or rest over here really depends on what they feel like to do so this is just a walk past the flamingo area with flamingo over here a lot of foliage not that much like I normally do we still have a place to sit and drink water over here also, animals can drink out of it, so you always try to fill up your bottle with the fresh crane supply over there. We have the flamingos. So there's also no different flamingo colors, like special flamingo colors. No albinos, no, no none that's red. Not like the ant eaters or the... Uh, P files is a normal P file. We still have these as well. As this is a small resting place for mainly the flamingos, but as you can see the P files are also here. And then we are coming to an end of the park itself. You can also just look on the water a little bit. You can see that it's just minimum foliage because. Uh, we also change the visibility a little bit darker. And over here we have a feeding place for the flamingos. One of the llamas coming by. And that's the Royal Park. So guys, what do you think? you see something you like? Do you see something you noticed and want to address? Let me know. Sometimes people watching my videos can also find some uh, some things maybe a little bit wrong or have a suggestion if they see something like, oh, if you do it like this. I, I always appreciate those, uh, those things in the comments, so let me know if you see something. And uh, I hope you guys like this. We're going to walk back to the area. As you can see, this is also custom from the workshop. Well, here we are. Royal Park, guys. Let's do a fly. Uh, normally, I don't do this with the uh, A Day at the Zoo series because A Day of the Zoo is all, all point of view. But this is like a hybrid between a Soka Zoo episode and A Day of at the Zoo episode. As you can see, this is the area, so it's all a small area. 
tilt the borders over here. I haven't used these parts over there. I could fill it in with trees, but I never bothered with it. As you can see the area, this is all pathway on the other side and we have uh, a small guest facility over here resting place and the back sides of the exhibits so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this episode uh, this not a regular day at the zoo episode the next episode is coming up really quick because I'm going to post a little bit more uh, directly behind each other. This one is going to be posted today uh, when I'm recording and yesterday I had a Yangwa episode, a Yangwa Oasis and um, that's kind of how my schedule is. The schedule is really like how things are working out in real life and uh, at this moment I had time for this so here is a new episode for you guys. I hope you enjoy and I hope to see you also next time at A Day at the Zoo. Bye-bye.